Is this it? I think it's it. It's it! I'm getting married. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And I'm here with my bare face, a little bit of egghead, <laughs> because today's gonna to be a full makeup tutorial, yay! And not just any makeup tutorial, I am considering this my wedding makeup trial. Before I get into that, welcome to day two of the 12 collabs of Choi Miss. Woo! That is correct. In the month of December, I am posting 12 collab videos with 12 amazing, like very aspirational women. <laughs> Can't wait for you to see. Today I am collabing with my dear friend Jasmine Yin. She's so multi-talented. She's a makeup artist, YouTuber. She has her own small business selling press-on nails. Today we're going to be pulling from her makeup artistry experience. And so over on her channel, she will be sharing how she would do wedding makeup for a client. And as I said, she's a makeup artist. She usually doesn't give this stuff away for free, so watch her video. Was this collab away for me to con her into giving me free makeup advice? Moving on, I did mention that she has her own small business selling press on nails and I am wearing a pair of her nails right now. These are like her short style in this Christmas design. Look, these fingers have little snowflakes and these have little deer on them. Oh, they're so cute. And then on my thumbs, I have little Santas. Her short length is my favorite because it's pretty much like my own length of nail. So I can do things like maneuver earrings and put in colored contacts, which I forgot to do. I do have a code Sally for 10% off her shop. I'll leave it linked down below so you can just peruse her site while you listen to me talk through my makeup today. I look like I'm crying because I just put on some colored contacts for my wedding day. I do want to wear a little bit of a lighter brown eye just to make my eyes pop a little bit more for photographs. I'm wearing poly eye colored contacts. I also have a code with them. I'll leave it in my description box. I can't remember what it is. I love these because they're like the thinnest contacts I've ever worn and they're very, very comfortable to wear all day. And these are in the color Sea Honey, which is just a nice like warm brown color. The eyeshadow palette I'll be using today is the Nabla Side by Side palette. Is it because I saw Julia Mazzucato say that this is gonna be her new wedding palette? Yes, yes it is. Before that, I'm gonna do my whole face. I tend to do eyes last, so to prime, I don't typically prime, but on my wedding day, I'm gonna prime using this NYX Angel Veil. I'm not gonna use a lot, just that much for my entire face. And I'm really concentrating it like around where I have texture to be filled in, cause this is like a silicone based primer. So it's gonna be filling that in to create a smooth base for the foundation to go on top. So there you go, not a lot of primer at all, but Honestly, I find the less you use, the better it wears over the day, over time. My aim for wedding makeup today is makeup that photographs well. So it's gonna be a little more full coverage, a little more dramatic than my daily, just because in photographs, if you wear like natural makeup, it, you literally can't see anything. So I'm gonna have like big dramatic open eyes. I'm gonna wear full coverage foundation. Yeah, so let's get into it. The foundation I'm using is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation in the shade 032 Nude Beige. I actually did get this from Miss Jasmine Yen herself. She was so gracious to give it, to gift it to me. I picked this Catrice foundation because it is so lightweight, like actual liquid, but it's very high pigment and that is just what I need. I'm just gonna put a couple, like a little drip, a little drip, maybe on my forehead and my chin. And then I am going to entirely blend this with a beauty sponge just cause I think that the finish is gonna look a lot nicer. No brush streaks here today, no, no, no. All right, so there's the first layer of foundation. I'm going to zoom y'all in so you can see my face a little better. So there's my layer of foundation and I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation and acne scars left over from years of acne. Also, my skin is extra going through it now because I just saw a doctor. I got a prescription for topical tretinoin, which I started and my skin is going through it. But if I can't do wedding makeup on the skin I have today, then I for sure will be able to do it on my wedding day face. For under eye concealer, I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Shortbread, which is a very, very yellow tone concealer. And I just, I'm gonna put that on with my finger <laughs> to make sure I don't put on too much product. I would like to mention that this is the second time I'm filming this video. <laughs> yes, I spent like an hour and a half filming a wedding makeup trial yesterday. And at the end of it, my face looked so heavy and I just really didn't like how my complexion looked. 
So I'm doing it today. I'm gonna go a little easy on the concealer. It's true, I want more full coverage for photographs, but I think even in photographs, it looked like a mask. And the reason it looked so, so crusty is because I used a ton of Tarte Shape Tape because it really is full coverage. And I used it kind of as a spackle to cover most of my lower face um, with all my acne marks. And I just, I didn't like how it looked. So I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna find a medium today and just really dot it where I think I need it most. So I was putting like spots everywhere today. I'm just going to be a little bit more conservative than that. Okay, let's start with that. The shade I'm using of the Tarte Shape Tape is Light Neutral, by the way. Yeah, this is definitely enough concealer because it really like stretches a long way, especially if you're using a damp sponge. Oh, also ideally on my wedding day, I will shave my face either that morning or the night before um, to really have like a smooth, smooth canvas for putting on the makeup. I just could not be bothered today. So I have a little bit of a, a little bit of peach fuzz, but that's fine. That's normal life. That's normal people. <laughs> okay, so there's my base. I'm actually pretty pleased with that. I'm gonna go ahead and powder my face using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is just a translucent shade. And I um, am doing this because all of my cheek products will also be powder. I find that powder um, face products are better for longevity because cream products can look beautiful and gorgeous and really skin-like when you first put it on. But then for an event, especially one where I'm putting on my makeup hours before the event actually starts, I feel like cream products will just disappear and I won't be able to see them at all by the time the event rolls around. Now that I've set my complexion base, everything's one color, I wanna add a little bit of shape and shading back. So I'm using my Tool Too Cool for School Art Class by Rodin Shader. And this is more of a contour, but I'm just gonna use it kind of as a bronzer. And I'm using this stipple brush from e.l.f. that's discontinued, just swirling it in all three colors and adding some shape back. I'm putting it like on my cheekbone because I don't want the color to come below here and it will come a little lower just by nature of blending. So try it. That's one thing I had to learn while doing makeup was to watch out for bronzer and make sure it doesn't come like all the way down here. And then also draw out the shape of my jaw. Here is the side that I sculpted a bit with the contour and here is just the foundation and concealer side so you can see the difference. And then same thing on the other side. Oh, you know what? <laughs> One thing I didn't do that probably drove some of y'all crazy was I didn't put any foundation on my neck. I didn't really blend down my neck that well. I, I, will, I will remember on wedding day. For blush, this is actually my first time using this blush in this video, and it is the Nabla Skin Glazing Blush in the shade Lola. Ooh. Now that I'm looking at it, this might actually be a highlighter. No, it's definitely a blush. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. I wanted to have a bit more of a vibrant cheek, um, again, for pictures so it shows up. So I'm just going to start light, because I don't know how pigmented this is, and tap. Ooh, this shade just looks so gorgeous with a little bit of a sheen, but it looks very lively. Oh yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna come back and blend that in a bit. Let me just deposit some product on the other cheek. And then I bring this really high onto my cheek, almost onto my eye, because I like um, just all of this to be connected. I, th I think that's also a really pretty place for a natural flush to be. And I usually bring blush just everywhere, like all across my nose. I'm gonna try to exercise some restraint and keep it on my cheekbones for more of a classic kind of blush look. Oh, oh, that's cute. I like that. Mm -hmm. I want to wear a little bit of highlighter, but I also know that highlighter is kind of a beauty people, like a makeup people thing. When I, I remember when I started um, watching YouTube videos. I thought the makeup looked better before highlighter, so I'm just gonna kind of use a very subtle natural highlighter to look more timeless. So I'm gonna be using my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and um, just first tapping that and then buffing it into the top part of my cheekbone to really blend it into the contour of my face. Or not the contour, like the high point of my face. So just a very like, is she wearing highlighter? Kind of highlighter. But I think that looks really pretty, very youthful. My brow routine is gonna be a little bit extra. It's gonna use 
pomade, powder, and gel, <laughs> but that's for the sake of longevity of this makeup look. And so I'm gonna be using my Benefit Cabrow Gel in the shade four. This is just the mini one. And I know my brush looks really ragged right now, don't mind that, <laughs> but I'm just going to draw a little bit of product along the lower border of my eyebrow on both sides. I'm blending it into the rest of my brow. Luckily, I pretty much like the shape of my natural brows, so I don't have to do a lot of work in terms of drawing out a new shape or anything. I just kind of fill in what I already have. Next, I'm gonna set just the outer half of my brows with a uh, clan from my Nabla Side by Side palette. It's a really nice, cool tone brown, and I'm just going to set the tails of my brows to make sure the insides don't look too like dark and intense. But also the tails are where I have my natural bald spots. So I want to set the pomade for my brows to stay in place for a little bit longer. Okay, I don't know if you can see any difference. <laughs> but last thing I'm gonna do is with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, just run that through. This is a very strong brow gel. It's kind of like hairspray for my brows, which is exactly what I want. And then with my separate spoolie, I'm going to brush the hairs up. I keep on switching spoolies like this because I am making sure to use like just the right amount of product. I don't want my brows to look gloopy or anything. So there are my brows, totally filled in, very bold. <laughs> For eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be using my Alter Ego eyeshadow primer. This doesn't really give any like color to cover up veins or anything, but I don't have those, <laughs> luckily. But this does have like a little bit of stick, some tack, and it will help keep my eyeshadow from creasing. I don't wear eyeshadow primer every day, but on an event day, it's a must. Okay, now for the eye look, let's really zoom y'all in. So I'm going to go into Bonjour, which is this very peachy colored base tone, and just set that everywhere <laughs> as the base for my look. So I guess this is kind of like setting the eye primer, but I'm setting it with my transition tone. And I'm also dragging that along my lower lash line. For my next matte shade, I'm going to take Tempera, which is this rich burgundy shade, and concentrate that on like the outer corner of my eye. This shade is very, very pigmented, as you can see. So just kind of tap and then blend out later. I'm also going to run that along my lower lash line. I'm actually gonna use that first blending brush, brush I used to help blend that out a little bit more smoothly. A combination of the windshield wiper and circular buffing. Okay, that worked really well. So now for the other side, tempera again. I want there to be a little bit more shading around my eyes for building up my matte base before slapping on my shimmers. So I'm going to go in with a burnt sienna with a smaller blending brush and kind of add that between those two shades. Oh yeah, that's, that's what I was looking for. And then kind of flare out the shape of that a bit. You can see the difference between the two eyes. All right, now let's slap on those shimmers. First, I'm going to take Better Society, which is one of my two favorite shades in this entire palette. Better Society and Le Ritual are my favorite, but this is like a very sparkly, glittery kind of pink tone. I'm gonna add that to like the middle, the center of my lid. So there's that effect. Mmm, so pretty. <laughs> Next on the other side. And then for my inner corner, I'm going to take Ray of Light and kind of bring that up on my upper lid and drag across my lower lid as well. Ooh, I love this shade. It's so brightening and so pretty. It's called Ray of Light. It literally looks like a ray of sunshine. It's so gorgeous. Adding the light shade on the lower lash line is kind of like a very Korean style of makeup to accentuate like the brightness and innocence of an eye. So there's my eyeshadow look. Another reason I love having short nails like this is so I can use my fingers to put on my eyeshadow because that's how I typically put it on. I'm going to take some coal eyeliner. I'm using a pencil eyeliner just because I find it's easier for me. And I also think it's easier for beginners to use a pencil eyeliner. And I am just going to run this like on my lashes along my lash line to really thicken up my lash base. 
Okay, I added like the tiniest wing just to really outline my eye essentially. And then on the other side, they look just a little bit uneven, but it's okay because they're little wings. And now I'm gonna just slap on some lashes and mascara. I'm back with lashes and here is what the eyes look like. If the lashes look uh, a little wonky, a little raggedy, and it's because it's my third time wearing these. These are the Ardell Double Wispies. At about the third use, they look a little raggedy because there's a clear lash band. There is not like a thick band holding it all together. For lips, I'm using this L'Oreal Rouge Signature Matte Lip Stain in the shade I Tease. I am not gonna wear like a glossy lip just because I do, I'm gonna be putting my mask on and off throughout the day as well. So let me just apply this without talking so I don't mess up. My camera battery just died if um, the angle changed or anything, but I love this lip product in particular because it's so lightweight. It feels like water. It doesn't dry really crusty or anything. It really just leaves a nice stain. So it fades very gracefully. With its texture, it's also very easy to reapply on top of itself and it doesn't get gr gross or anything. This shade, I tease, is just deep enough, just rosy enough. Uh, I think it's perfect. Last step has to be some setting spray. I'm using Urban Decay All Nighter, and I don't have a lot of this left. I did just order some Milani Make It Last setting spray as well, so just a long, a, like a setting spray made for longevity is what you're gonna need. Ugh, I don't like the, the smell of that setting spray. Anyone else? I'm just gonna brush through my brows again while the setting spray is wet. I see my bald spot coming through, so I'm gonna fill in with a bit more of this clam shade. Now let me take down my hair and we can see the final look. Here is the final makeup look. Mm, I'm obsessed. I am kind of obsessed with this blush. It's exactly what I imagined and what I hoped it would be, especially in combination with this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. It's so gorgeous. My cheeks look so juice and plumpy. Juice and plumpy? Plump and juicy? My eyes have the perfect level of drama and openness and my lips are the perfect tone. I think this is gonna be my wedding makeup. <laughs> I, I don't really know what to say now that I'm at the end of this look. I love it. I love, I love it. Oh, it's kind of hitting me. If you're wondering what earrings I've been wearing this whole video, these are little handmade, very festive earrings made by my friend Simply Yenny. I'll link her shop in my description and also her Instagram. And I'm also wearing a couple uh, Ana Luisa pieces, a simple ear cuff and the heart moonstone necklace. These will also be linked down below. Oh, sorry. Real quick, I forgot to nose contour, duh. Just really, really quick nose contour and I think that will be like the finishing touch. And I am using my um, Too School for School, Too Cool for School Art Class by Rodin shader. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh my gosh. Is this it? I think it's it. It's it. The complexion looks so much better than the first time I did it. Oh, it looks so like, kind of, it looks smooth and airbrushed but not crusty and heavy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It takes a couple tries, y'all. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know if there's any tips that you learned. I feel like I didn't do anything revolutionary, but putting it all together is what makes, like, a look. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and definitely check out Jasmine's video and her channel as well. Remember that y'all are my treasure. Find the beauty in every day, but most importantly, be kind to yourselves. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!